Hi everyone, my name is Kayla, I'm from Brazil, and I'm part of the YA team at Audacious Church. And I'm also doing Audacious College, and it's been amazing. I'm here today to share with you one of the miracles that God has done in my life. When I was a kid, I had a disease that affected my breath, and I used to spend most of my weeks in a hospital just to treat that for years as I had no cure. There was one specific day, though, that my mom took me to the hospital because I couldn't breathe and the nurse was struggling to find a vein in my body to inject the medication that I had needed at that moment. Every time she tried, my vein just burst and, as it was too thin. Then she went to talk to my mom and said to her that if she believed in anything, she should pray since if they didn't find a vein to inject the medication into, I was going to die. But that didn't happen. Guess why? <laughs> Well, it's because my mom prayed and asked God to not let me die. Minutes later, they find a vein and they found a vein and they had the medication to get better. But this is not the best part. One day, months later, we were at the church praying and God used someone to tell me that he was healing me in that moment. I believed in those words and since that day, I don't have any problems with my breath. I've been through a lot of things after that in my life, things that were impossible for me to overcome alone, but God was always there with me, and he did so much more, like he always does. <laughs> Just remember to put your faith in him, as he's always looking at us and carrying us in his arms. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 says, Faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. I know that sometimes it's hard to, be, to remember God's miracles in our lives and we start to feel what we're facing now. But he's faithful to help us in every situation and give us the victory against our enemies. He's always with us and he knows what's best. In Matthew 7 verse 9 to 11 says that Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, we'll give him a snake. If you then, though you're evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will you, your Father, in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? I pray that God will increase our faith on this journey and bring us closer to him every day. That we will trust him in everything we have and that he will keep working in our lives, transforming us and revealing his glory. We worship you, Lord, and we praise you today and forever. Amen. I hope you guys have a great and blessed weeks.